Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about uh, different authentication method for Fabric. So technically when I SSH into my CentOS SA machine, what you see is that I have no prompt to enter my password. This is because I have set up public key authentication. And um, if we go to the Etsy SSH SSHD with sudo of course, what we will see is that by default public key authentication come on where is it where is it so we have password authentication enabled and we have the pub key authentication so if you see a hashtag in front of the SSH configuration and you didn't modify it what you should see behind the hashtag is the default value. So uh, in this case, uh, when I try to log into this machine, I need to have my uh, public key copied to the authorized keys. And this is the reason that it allows me to log in. So anyway, that's about public key authentication. And what we are going to do is to use fabric. So let me bring it down for you from fabric we import the connection class and the center sa connection will look like this so connection and uh, so far i have shown you that we use a connection string like this so host ansible at center sa the fabric is smart enough to know that we are going to use Ansible as username at the host where we want to log in. But what you can do also is to simply say that the user is Ansible. And in the connect keyword arguments, we need to specify the key file name. And here comes the tricky part. So we need to specify a list because behind the scenes when you when uh, Fabric is parsing the keyword arguments for the connection, it is going to try to extend their current uh, internal variables. So if you simply specify a string, it will refer to you as if it has no uh, extend uh, uh, extend cannot be called on a string so and uh, where is my public key so if I check my reaper pi ssh config you will see that this specifies that every host that I go into I would like to use ansible as user and I would like to use the identity file and this is good enough for us and I'm going to use a raw string copy paste it and voila now what we can do is to run commands and stuff like that so ps aux and it should simply work as magic and it is working <laughs> so one other thing is that if you run this command and you would like to capture the output so let's call it result if we run this again what you will see that we can see still on the screen what the output was but we have this in the result variable as well so in order to hide the output we need to specify the hide true as argument in this case you will not have your screen flooded with the output and that was all i wanted to show you stay